Cute Kip, Velvet Sky. Up next, you face the duo of the TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Taylor Wilde, and the War Machine, Rhino. What are your thoughts? What are our thoughts? You know what, Rhino? You've stuck your horn in our business way too many times. And, and to, uh, we got, I, I can't even talk about that. We got something bigger than that. Yeah, I know. An Angelina, what's wrong? What's wrong? Really? What's wrong, Lauren? I woke up this morning with a blemish on my face, okay? Me! Do you not have any idea? Okay, I haven't even had a blemish since like the third grade, okay? This is like the end of the world here! Oh, a blemish, you mean a pimple, right? What? A How dare you! How dare you! What? The beautiful people don't get pimples, idiot hole. Those are for the skinks and the scrubs like you. In fact, isn't that a pimple? Oh, you oh. Let's go, Kip. We're up next. Come on, Angelina. It's okay. You guys go ahead. I have to see my dermatologist. Pay him by the hour. Ladies and gentlemen, the following is a mixed tag team contest that is scheduled for one fall. Introducing team number one, representing the beautiful people, Velvet Sky and Q-Tip. It was last week on Impact when we saw the beautiful people's plan to embarrass Taylor Wilde backfire. I'm sure you all remember the beautiful people beauty pageant that was won by the TNA Knockout Champ. Then this past Sunday at No Surrender, Taylor Wilde retained that knockout championship over Angelina Love. Tonight here on Impact, it's Velvet Sky and the beautiful people's fashionist, if you will, Hugh Kip. They're set for a mixed tag team matchup. Let's hope that whatever Kip's wearing never becomes a trend here in the United States. And their opponents first. From Toronto, Ontario, Canada, she is a TNA Women's Knockout Champion, Taylor Wilde! What can you say about the TNA Knockout Champ, Taylor Wilde, other than since arriving here, she has faced each and every challenge head on. She proved that her win over Awesome Kong wasn't a fluke, and look, She's still the TNA Knockout title holder. And her tag team partner from Detroit, Michigan, the War Machine, rolling out! Well, here's the backup for Taylor Wilde. Smart move on her part, bringing the War Machine down at no surrender because she knew the tactics of Kip James and, of course, Velvet Sky and the beautiful people. She was going to have somebody there to watch her back. And we know about this, this relationship and friendship that they have, but it's great for Taylor Wilde. Somebody, like you said, has been the champ since she got here in TNA. And she knows with a friend like Lionel, oh, well, she might be able to hold on to it a whole heck of a lot longer. Don, I know that you and I did a little investigative work. We found out that Taylor Wilde of course from Toronto, Canada, but had wrestled in the Detroit, Michigan area and had become friends with the War Machine Rhino. She used him for backup at No Surrender. Tonight here on Impact, he stands in the corner as Taylor Wilde's tag team partner look at Velvet Sky unload with those shots. Well, I'll tell you what, she grabbed the hair at an opportune time and was able to slam Taylor Wilde's head to the mat. And something like that, you can just have your skull jarred so abruptly that it can really take you out from the beginning. And and Velvet Sky realized it, went right after Taylor Wilde, trying to get a grip of herself. Is she gonna tag into War Machine? No, nope. she wants to stay out there. I wanna remind you once again that yes, the king of the mountain, Jeff Jarrett, is here. He's in the impact zone, and he will have a message for the icon Sting. Isn't it gonna be great to hear from the king of the mountain, Don? First time that we've heard him on impact, in nearly two years. And, and the fact that this message is directed to Sting, that's what intrigues me. I mean, we know how Sting feels about all the years that he's put in this business. Well, think about it. Jeff Jarrett's been in this business just as long or a 
louder than Sting. And, and you got to wonder, does he feel the same way? What a response that he wanted Sting to make sure that he was listening because he had it directed to him. And at the same time, you've got to wonder, what will be the reaction from Kurt Angle to Jeff Jarrett? We're going to answer all those questions later tonight as we see the War Machine. Well, he missed with the first shot, didn't miss with the second, his third, and the fourth as he lights up the chest of cute hip. Whoa, into the corner. We got the Slick Johnson there. Hip toss out by Rhino. I'll tell you, Rhino, what a hip toss. He just has that strength to sit him high. I wanted to hit the gore here, setting up for it, but just not enough as cute Kip able to move him out of the way. And Velvet Sky, look at this. Spraying the war machine, trying to get him to smell better in her mind. And what does that do? It's enough of a distraction to allow cute Kip to get himself back in this game. And Nice elbow as he sits right out of the ground. Oh, she sprayed it right in his eyes. It blinds Rhino and enables Kip to go for the cover and get the near fall. And you can see right there down that Rhino, he's trying to rub whatever that was that she sprayed. He's trying to rub it out of his eyes. Look at Velvet Sky here. Look at this. As, as you know, Rhino's going to be apprehensive about doing anything to her, especially with his power. He knows the, the damage he can do. And now look at this. She's got the knees on him, pulling on the hair. He's still got the spray in his eyes. Oh, what a shot there. Big right hand from the outside down to the arena floor from Kip, Q Kip James, as he just drilled Rhino. And now Velvet Sky tags in the fashionist of the beautiful people once again. Well, you saw Rhino trying to grab the leg, just anything that he can grab a hold of to pull himself to his feet. But you got to admire the game plan here of the beautiful people as they're able to keep Rhino on this side of the ring keep him from, from getting any kind of respite whatsoever. And right now, Kip applying the boots. And let's be honest, the size of, of Kip is just one of those guys that if he hits you the right way, he can take anybody, and I mean anybody, out of their game in an instant. Rhino driven into the corner. Kip heads to the far side, measures. Look at that, blowing kisses over to Velvet Sky, then goes airborne and caught nothing but turnbuckle on the way down as Rhino moves out of the way. I mean, it's a weird situation here for Rhino. You tag in Taylor Wilde with Kip being legal? Well, sometimes you just gotta take a second. You gotta get a minute. And hopefully he can tag Taylor, but look at this. Kip James tags Velvet Sky in at the same time. And now you got the girls going at it. Look at Taylor Wilde, drop kick after drop kick. Knockout champ on fire, blocks the clothesline. Bridging suplex, two and no. I'll tell you what, Velvet Sky lucky that time for getting out of that. We know what happened. Whoa, 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 whoa. Gore! 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 Angelina Love runs down the ringside. What does she have? Oh, some kind of a steel pipe? You heard the noise as she slammed it whoa. on the mat, swings and misses, and Taylor connects with a kick right into the side of Velvet Sky. Then One, drives her two, right down and it. gets the pin and gets the win. Here are your winners, the War Machine Rhino and Taylor Wilde. What did I say? Any challenge that you put in front of Taylor Wilde, she answers and gets the win. You see the celebration of the War Machine. Holds her high into the air. What an outing here in the mixed tag match. Taylor Wilde and Rhino get the W. Well, you see Taylor Wilde consoling the war machine. He raised her hand, but you're right. She is so resilient. No matter what is put in her path, she finds a way to get it. Wait a minute, watch out. Here comes Cute Kip and the beautiful people and blindsiding him as you see. Angelina Love and Velvet Sky putting the boost to Taylor Wilde. Well, Cute Kip has taken out the war machine. I guess we should have figured just exactly how, how much embarrassment can the beautiful people take? We've seen it on impact for weeks at the hands of Taylor Wilde. We saw it at No Surrender. We see it again tonight. And now, after the victory, as we see Kip go famous that time, oh, he just powered the war machine down. And now they're gonna celebrate even though they came up the losers in the mixed tag well, match. Angelina Love again proves to be the difference. We kind of forgot about her. We got lulled into it as we saw the, the mixed tag action. But look at this. Taylor Wilde has sneaked in. She's behind Velvet Sky and Angelina Love. Pat the mat and they turn around. And here she comes with a double clothesline. Taking them both out at the same time. They turn around and then they go down. And then Taylor just went, uh-oh. Well, what's he gonna do? What? Awesome Kong, here she comes. We've seen the path of destruction in recent weeks here on Impact. 
Oh my God, when we, ah, look, look at, at this! Taylor Wilde. Taylor Wilde off the top! It's out of control here in the impact zone! And we are back on impact, and as you can see, the beautiful people, Awesome Kong, they hold Taylor Wilde and the War Machine Rhino down, and they've got two brown paper bags. Well, you see one with Velvet Sky's face, the other one with Kim's face, as they put them on the two and embarrass them and humiliate them. As, as during that break, when Awesome Kong came in here and kind of took control of things, and now the beautiful people with the help of Ray Saeed and Awesome Kong have taken control. That was the key, Don. During that commercial break, we saw Awesome Kong take the TNA Knockout Champion, Taylor Wilde, and fling her directly into the steel guardrail. Trouble here, Taylor Wilde and Rhino, the beautiful people, cute Kip, and Awesome Kong, they have left their mark on impact. In anticipation of his appearance up next on Impact, let's check out the history of the King of the Mountain, Jeff Jarrett.